What is up guys, Zillow the Hawk here, and uh, welcome back with another thingy, but <clears throat> this is going to be at the beginning of the uh, Pacific Rim uh, double review, which has Knife Head and Gypsy Danger is somewhere else over there, because I have them at my nightstand, but just wanted to do this real quick, because games, send a box. So, yeah. We won't be needing this anymore. At least for now. Um, but if you saw last time's cry for help, I got, um, Burning God's Soul, which was cool uh, in itself. And we open the box, and we have a figure here, and it just so happens to be, if I could even get it out, man. Damage the figure anyway. Here we go. I got Bandai Gamora Man. Oh yeah. Um, not gonna lie, he's shorter than I expected, but he's still Gamora Man. He was my childhood boy um there's a tag and i'll get uh, my other thing to compare him with real quick put my ultraman side by side with him uh he's a little taller just a little bit but i'm not gonna be worried about that anyway oh my God. put him next to burning godzilla hell yeah so yeah, I just wanted to put this at the beginning of the Pacific Rim video because, oh man, Gamora, man, he's he's cool, he's probably my favorite Ultraman character, whoopity. So, yeah, just wanted to show I have Gamora now, and yeah, he's, he's pretty f***ing cool. Um, so, oh, that's the crack in my phone, okay. I thought there was a freaking scratch on my wall. I was going to be pissed. Um, but yeah. I have Gamora now. I'll do a review on him one day. Uh, but yeah. I have him. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah. What is guys? Zilla the Hut here. Back with another freaking video thingy. Um... Um, today, we're going to be uh, doing a uh, little, little review, okay, little, little thing, um, we're going to be doing a double review today, so it's going to be a little longer, so, yeah, we're going to be reviewing two figures today, which is the... NECA Pacific Rim Knife Head and NECA Pacific Rim Chips of Danger. So let's do Knife Head first because he's cool, man. He's cool. So, yeah. This is Knife Head. Let's get a nice ass look at his head. So, yeah, he's pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie, he's pretty freaking cool. 
Um, so yeah, he's got all this yellow and stuff. What the Let's get back into the review, okay? Um, so yeah, he's got all these yellow stripes on him, which is good. Um, he's got this giant shell on his back, which is cool. Um, he's got these two extra hands, I don't even know what the hell they use him for. He's got this bendable tail that he can bend all over the place, but I just keep it like this, whatever. Um, yeah, let's get into, uh, articulation. So, he has really no head articulation except for his jaw can open. Yay! His arm can go all the way. No, it can only go that far. And it can go that far back. He's got a hinge joint at the elbow. Uh, no wrist articulation. His leg can go up that far. And back that. Okay, hold on. How about we just do this? Back that. Far. Okay, actually, never mind. I can just go all the way around. He's got a knee jit bend, which is not that very. And no foot articulation, which is. Kind of sad, but hey, he looks the heart right. So, yeah, this is Knife Head. He's pretty uh, freaking cool. Yeah. He's cool. On to the big boy. Gypsy Danger. Okay. Um, Gypsy is freaking cool. Okay. He's cool. He's got the reactor, he's got the, uh, the blue, he's got 34 on his shoulder, he's colored, red, white, and blue. Yeah, this guy is literally the embodiment of America, so he's got a little bit of yellow on his shins. Um, yeah, he, he looks good. Here's his face, if he wants to... You know, give me a minute, get him so you can see it. Yeah, that's pretty sick. Uh, let's get no articulation for my boy. So, he has a ball joint at the head, but it's so, this figure is really old, so it doesn't really work that much. Uh, he's got a ball joint at the shoulder. This gives you not that much out and not much in. Go all the way around somewhat if you really wanted to. He's got kind of an uh, elbow. He's got wrist articulation. He's got a ball joint at the freaking abdomen. His leg like, can go up that, far, up that far and back that far. He's got a knee bend. He's got down at the ankle, up at the ankle, and his thing is that. He's got somewhat of a pivot. So, let's get knife head back in here and I'll do size comparisons real quick. Um, let's size comparison him with the Masterpiece Bumblebee. Again, he's pretty big. Uh, size comparison with the original Burning Godzilla, which is even bigger than him, which is crazy. And let's 
Alaska Gypsy in here. And we'll do the same figures. So let's bring in Bumblebee. Again, taller. Let's bring in Godzilla. Which again, taller. Yeah, that was my review on the um the NECA Gypsy Danger and Knifehead. Um hope you guys enjoyed. Other than that, yee. So, uh, I have that new, that person that you saw in this video, that was my new character. I don't know what I'm going to do with him yet, but I thought I would do that because, you know, he's going to be kind of a, a weird guy, okay? So, yeah, um, he's here now. Um, I don't have a name for him, so put in the comments what I should name him. Or I'll put it on Instagram or something. I'll name them. But, yeah. Just wanted to tell you about this new guy. So, yeah. Later.